Welcome back to the first hour of the Ride or Write DLC. So, last episode I got attacked by lots of infected, and here's the alleyway they came out of. I was making sure I was equipped with my best machete. Don't want that happening. And then I find the first audio file. Have a listen. Everyone's dead. The whole unit. Rest call king. I took everything. Bastards didn't even kill me. They just left me here to bleed out in the street. Oh, this disease is gonna spread. There's no stopping it now. Not unless they nuke the whole bloody island. I got to crawl away from here before the infected find me. Shit, one of them sees me. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ, more of them. Oh, my God. What did you do? That was actually pretty scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I had to kick him, make sure he was still dead, and it wasn't gonna come back. And right now you can hear a suicider. Not a good sign, especially in short corridors. And an infected runs out. Yeah. That happens if you stay in one spot for too long. And uh, just know when you play through this, you can use your med kits. You'll see me look for loot, but you can use them. There's a lot of them in the DLC. All right, now, suicide is somewhere around here. I knew that. And here's another part I was telling you how the jumpers actually come out and scare you, where this one kind of fails. If that would have grabbed me, I'm pretty sure I would have flipped out. And I couldn't find her. She was moving too weird. And eventually, I kill her. And I wanted to let you guys... Here, I almost died by the suicider. But I want to let you guys know, if you see like little jumps in between the videos, it's because my capture card is highly unreliable. So like every three, four minutes, I've been like uh, stopping one capture because it saves my flash drive. I'd stop a capture, then restart it. So if you see little jumps that don't look normal, that's just, that's why. Those doors are always so hard to break down. But yeah, just like in any other game, I always start off by going the way that you're not supposed to, just to check if something is there. Kill that zombie, and I think I do. Oh no, I don't actually. But usually I would go the other way. Here goes more zombies. And great, this one had to jump out right now, right? That was not cool at all. And that's how you survive that part. <laughs> this walker, I, I should have just destroyed him for grabbing me. But that'll happen a lot, like... Just getting caught up in the wrong time. Like, I'm not sure where he was. I couldn't find him before those infected came out. He's probably by that corner. So I jumped up that ladder so I could get away from any infected that are still alive if there was any. Uh, Want to skip these zombies? Do as I do. Jump grab. <laughs> and make sure you're looking directly at the ladder, like, straight forward. Don't look up or down because you won't grab onto it. Now I was just looking for something I can throw away, because I kind of want some Molotovs. Yeah, those zombies were being annoying, couldn't look at them. So I just gave up. Molotovs help out a lot, especially in parts where you have high ground and there's lots of zombies, like by a ladder that you have to go down. Here's a little turret, have some more fun with this. You're safe up on this part, too, just so you know. There's no infected that are going to jump up and get you. Well, not that I know of. They didn't attack me. There's actually lots of zombies on this part. If you run down there, I haven't found too much loot. I do that in my second playthrough. But, um, yeah, there's not too much down there. And here's where you get your first, like, safe zone. I think there, I think I find some guns in here. Mm. 
Yeah, so as I keep on doing, keep looting and stuff, I don't want that machete because it's not as strong as my others. So yeah, here's lots of guns. There's the mod, I think, what is the, what mod is that? Sticky Bomb mod, I don't use that because I hardly ever throw knives. I don't know. I find it like kind of pointless sometimes. I'm pretty sure some people are really good with it, but that's just how I play. <laughs> so yeah, I'm giving up some stuff so I can get these grenades. Yeah, repairing is also one thing that becomes obsolete towards the middle and end of the game because you get enough guns to last you the whole game. And there's a little trick. I'll tell you this now. Just try to remember this if you play. If there's if you're ever running out of ammo, but you find like a little ammo depot and it doesn't give you're you enough ammo, just you uh, us? load your last you checkpoint and go back, back to it, and you could get she like unlimited ammo. And you shot her like an animal. And this guy obviously doesn't know what's going on. I mean, does he want to go out and apologize to the people I shot? I mean, they're zombies, stupid. Calm down. Yeah, just check around this whole area. Looks like some survivors try to keep make a little safe zone. I don't know why they didn't stay here, like this guy. And you get your revolver here. It's not too good, but it's a gun. <laughs> You'll find a lot more later on. Again, I was just using loot that I found instead of using health packs. Because in the main story, it seems like health packs are kind of hard to find. But in this, you'll find lots. And it sucks that you can't look more like downwards. Because that would have helped a lot. We got most of them though. And here comes the whole bunch. And this is a time where I was talking about Molotovs help out a lot. So they are dead, but you just the worst thing is you just gotta wait a little bit to get out of there. But it's worth it. I'd rather do this than jump down, get destroyed. What was I doing here? Oh, looking for things to throw or drop, I guess. And the fire lasts pretty long. I never really noticed it until I, until I started using Molotovs. Do not want to step in it, though. Even a burning dead body will take down enough health. It's not cool. This part is actually really hard, too. So you're going to really keep your head on a swivel when you play this part. I was infected, man. They are very dangerous. And I was running out of stamina. That was not good at all. That was actually a nice chop. I like that one. Now, you'll see my first death, I think, in this clip. Because this next part is one of the hardest parts i played through. You can run through it, but that's no fun. <laughs> what a bloody mess. What a bloody mess. Here's another audio. I had to execute Captain Jackson. I found him feasting on a bloody corpse. He was crouched in the street like an animal. His face was covered in blood. When he looked up at me, I knew he had no fucking idea who I was. He growled at me and bared his teeth and I shot him right in the bloody head. I don't know how he died, like, hey, he's in a safe spot, on top of ladders, what in the world happened to him? So yeah, this part, oh, tons of infected. Christ, there's not much left of him. There's a, a turret they can get on, 
But as you can see, when I stop dying, I have to just keep turning back and forth, back and forth, because you don't know where they're coming from. And it gets really intense. See, if once they get behind you, you're like screwed because you can't really do too much. So here's me trying to survive as much as I can. <laughs> that was crazy. And it's not over yet. I was thinking, oh yeah, that's one swarm, that was pretty bad, but that's nothing. Here they come. <laughs> and the suicider got me. Thanks for watching, episode 